Good Morning Kenora is made possible by proud supporters like Swift Cash, who support public television in Kenora. Good morning, Kenora, and welcome to this Thursday edition of the show. Yep. I'm Chris Jones. And I'm Justin Kakis. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm well. How are you? You know what? I'm pretty fantastic, as per usual. As per usual, indeed. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. I've, I've missed you. I know. Have, have you missed me? No. No. Nope. Didn't think so. No. I think, actually, as my ex, I can't miss you. It's too, you know, because you, you kind of fade in. You come out volunteering, and you're hosting some days. You're not hosting other days. It's a little too hard on my psyche. This whole X thing is going to get a little awkward if the nurses or anyone in, like at the medical center start watching and pass on knowledge to Kelly that I apparently have an X already in Kenora. And we've she only watches been... the show. Yeah, it's true. Well, she used to. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think she watches every day except for Thursdays because that's the day she knows I'm on. So, yeah. And I, I, I mean, you know Kelly's watching because your cell phone will go off because you'll open your mouth and you'll say something and your yeah. cell phone will go beep. It's like... Yeah. Not it's as good. bad as my mom, though, on, Monday, or on Friday there. You know, I, I was actually going to introduce myself to your mom because I saw her. She's out weeding the garden, and I was going to stop, pull over, and say, Mom, how are you? And go and shake her hand and talk to her like I knew her. Thank you so much for not doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but anyway, so it's been a good week so far? Yeah, it's actually yeah. It's been exciting. It's been a short week, of course, because yeah. we made a long weekend. Um, exactly. It's been a short week. The weather's been decent. Mm-hmm. So, Interesting I, storm. Yeah, the other night. it is. And unfortunately, we have some bad news coming up for weather. So mm. today, we're looking at some sunshine, high of 18, low of 6 with some rain. And then tomorrow, high of 8 and a low of 5 with rain. And look at that beautiful picture that Jeff made for us of rain. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, yeah. for that beautiful rain picture. So going to the weekend, it's going to be a little rainy, which is yeah. going to make um, tonight my, my first soccer game I get to play oh, in wow. the rain. Well, it may not. You know, I actually it might rain around you. <laughs> Just isolated around the field. Yeah. No, actually, I think playing sports in the rain is a motivation. Because if you stand, you get a little cold and chilly, so you've got to move. you got to hustle. So I don't mind playing in the rain. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it's kind of nice. All right. So what do you have planned uh, going on? What's going on? What's new? Um, not a great deal. More renos at the house. Been yep. uh, helping our friend Dave Casey at the Bijou with uh, some work actually heading back there today uh, but mm -hmm. otherwise kind of getting excited because Ara starts soccer next mm. Thursday and we found out that she is on a team with yep. everyone else that she wanted to be with or that we wanted her to be with including Jack Dawson's son Jake nice. so there's there's Wait like a uh, what what Jack Dawson's son Soccer. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> did I let it? Yeah, did I let the I'm cat confused. out of the bag? Yeah, I know. For one that mocks footy so much, but uh, it's exciting though. You know, they're yeah. they're all in that like age, so we'll see who the first one picks up the ball and runs with it. That'll be the goalie. <laughs> but uh, but otherwise, you know, yeah. Don't worry, because they all do it. My well, I coach my daughter who's five, right, and my son who's eight. And on both the teams, they, everyone does it. Mm -hmm. You kick the ball, and they reach down, they pick it up. And it's <laughs> they like, get up and run with you it. You know what the best remedy for that is? You just look at the kid, and he's five, and he's like, you know what? You owe me five push-ups. And then they look at you, they kind of giggle. No, I'm not kidding. I don't think I can do that with a three-year-old yet. <laughs> Start on just, just do one. Aaron picks up the ball, just look at Aaron and say, honey, <laughs> push one push-up. One push-up. She's gonna. What's it, a push-up? It, it calls. What, then you demonstrate. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. Then I have to demonstrate. <laughs> I'm gonna end up doing the push-ups. Um, it builds character. But yeah, well, that's that's about it. That's, you know, and just ramping up into the good season, hopefully mm -hmm. getting out onto the water. And uh, Kelly is unfortunately going to be gone, um, not this weekend, but the following weekend for, uh, for work in Toronto. Right. So she's going to end up missing out, actually, on... On an event that we have some guests today here to talk about. Right. Who, who do we have here? We've got uh, Bill Scrabalo, and he's going to be talking about Booby Nights. Right. He's got a couple extra folks to come in. We're going to have a good chat about that, mm -hmm. which is very great. We also have uh, Alana and Judy from the Northwest Health Unit talking right. about cleaning out your medicine cabinet. Yes. So it's 
Good show. Should be a good one. That should be an interesting topic as well. Absolutely. Um, just to hear what they have to say about that. So I, if um, if Kelly's gone, does that mean I get to be your date for boobies nights? Well, we did discuss this. I was hoping it would stay off camera, but I guess <laughs> now that we're on live television. Yes, Chris, will you be my date? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I just, do I get to get a corsage, something nice? You going to pick me up? Yeah, I'll get you a dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> got enough of those in the yard. Uh, but it sounds like it's going to be a great night. It's going to be under the tent. You know, of course, they're going to talk more about it when they're on. Uh, when Yeah, but it just sounds like a lot of fun. Dave, actually, I was with Dave Casey last night. Mm -hmm. He's special guest with Big Boogaloo. Yep. And uh, he was sharing some potential new tracks or new songs Ooh. that they're going to be playing. Got to keep it a secret, but it sounds awesome. And uh, it should, yeah, it should just be a great time. Thanks. That's excellent. So let's go to a quick break, mm -hmm. and when we come back, we're going to bring on Judy and Lana to talk about uh, cleaning your medicine cabinet. Perfect. Wind & Water Interiors is a proud supporter of Good Morning Kenora and Public Television. From brand name window coverings, design services, and cabinetry to furniture and accessories, they're bringing style back to life. Wind & Water Interiors. Lake of the Woods Insurance is a proud supporter of public television. For all of those unexpected challenges you may face in the workplace, Lake of the Woods Insurance can be there to help you. Lake of the Woods Insurance, where customer satisfaction is insured. In a world of fear, what they needed most was each other. Here comes the monster. The Tickle Monster! <laughs> Just imagine what a little time can do for your family. <laughs> From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Bestway Rentals and Sales for supporting public television. They've got air conditioning systems and aqua lily pads for the summer, heaters, heavy equipment rentals and more. Bestway Rentals and Sales. Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for supporting public television. There's so much more than cashing checks and payday loans. They offer a wide range of other services from parcel pickup and delivery to comic books, Swift Cash and so much more. And welcome back to the show. I have with me this morning, I have Judy from the health unit and Alana, who actually is a pharmacist in town, correct? Yes. Awesome. How are you ladies doing this morning? Very well, thanks. Yeah, Great. I love your new set here. It's Thank awesome. you. Yes. Wyndham Water, Mona from oh. Wyndham Water. She's basically done everything. Um, very briefly, we have to share with all our guests. We call this the pirate ship. Because the wood, in fact, is recovered from uh, sunken ships in Southeast Asia. It's all it's all recovered. Yeah. So it's, so somehow it came about that it's a pirate ship. You know, oh, table. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, anyways, so that was random. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. We like to keep things rel relatively random on the show. Um, but what do we have you on today for? What are, what are we talking about? Well, we're here today because we're talking about a medicine cabinet cleanout campaign that we're doing here in Kenora. And we're doing it the week of May 28th to June 3rd. And the reason we're doing it is that's uh, Safe Kids Week. And oh, the theme nice. is poison prevention, and this is one way to address it. So uh, it's actually the Kenora Substance Abuse and Mental Health Task Force that is uh, putting this on. Fair enough. Mm. Well, that's excellent. Um, so what, like, what kind of advice would you have then in regards to cleaning out the medicine cabinets? Well, when you're cleaning out your medicine cabinet, you basically want to go through, look for any expired medication mm -hmm. or medication you're no longer using or shouldn't be taking because we don't want people going into their medicine cabinet all bleary-eyed in the morning and taking the wrong pills or right. kids or young adults getting a hold of the wrong kind of medication that can be abused. Fair enough. Um, with disposal of that medicine, is there anywhere in particular, like, it, because I would think that putting it in the just regular bathroom garbage yeah. probably isn't. Not yeah. the best idea. No, um, any local pharmacy generally will take back any medication. Okay. And during this medicine cabinet clean out week, all the local pharmacies are participating in that. So Fantastic. that's great. And yeah, we don't want people throwing out their medicine. We don't want them putting it down the toilet right. and get, getting into the water supply. Yeah, of course. You know what? I didn't even think of that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, with the local pharmacies being involved this week 
with the um, with being able to bring in the old medications and disposal. Moving forward, are people like just so it's not just this particular week of the year? Like when people are looking at disposing old medicines and whatnot, are they able to come in like to see your pharmacy or yeah yeah? yeah. We're always um, we're always open to bring in old and expired medications. It's just we're advertising it this week. Fair enough. Yeah. A big deal. No, that's, that's yeah. fantastic. This is an awareness campaign. Right. And it's something that's so easy to do. I mean, it only takes a few minutes. And not just your medicine cabinet, but also in your home, because sometimes people store them in other places. And it impacts on the whole family across the lifespan, because you can help prevent poisoning in younger children, help prevent access to older children, and also for a safety issue for the older generation, for not taking the wrong medication or... Um, you know, helping to prevent falls. It's one of the things we teach. So, and this is something that you can do all year long, right. but we just really want to promote it. Spring cleaning is a good time to uh, start thinking about that, and it ties into a bigger event. So. Fantastic. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask then in regards to, not necessarily just disposal, but then for any sort of medication, especially adults that have uh, young children or even I wouldn't say young adults, but more young children. Do you guys have any sort of recommendation as to where it should be kept in regards to, like, because some medicine cabinets, I know my three-year-old, she's starting to become a little monkey mm -hmm. when it comes to climbing, climbing up on things. We found her on the counter the other day in the kitchen, but I know that could easily lead to into the washroom. Do you mm -hmm. have any sort of advice just as precautionary method? Well, um, we actually, most pharmacists will tell you not to keep your medication in the bathroom because of humidity. So even though your medicine cabinet's actually in the bathroom, you should actually take, keep your medication perhaps at a, in a high shelf in the kitchen somewhere oh, that they can't, they can't get to. And if you have kids in the family, you want to use um, child-proof. You want to always have child-proof um, medication vials, which you will get at any pharmacy unless you ask otherwise. Unless, right. Okay. And you, so you can actually get, oh, well, I guess for people that have difficulty with Right, of course. Easy to open ones, Yeah, fair yes. enough. And hopefully by that point, the kids are out of the house. Yeah, time. hopefully. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's awesome. And so then with, and so this is in coordination with Child Safety Week. Mm -hmm. um, at the health unit, is there any information or anything like that? Like if people wanted to come in, if any of the viewers, they had further questions or anything like that in regards towards either the uh, clean up your medicine mm -hmm. cabinet or just Child Safety Week. Mm -hmm. Is there any more information that they can obtain from the health unit? They could. Um, they could give me a call. Okay. And uh, would you like me to share the number? That would be wonderful. Okay. The number is 468-3147, and the extension is 3261. So they could give me a call, and I'd be happy to answer any questions or refer them to some really good sites. Um, and the message is, you know, just really to kind of keep it simple, you know, use common sense, but it's one of the things that often, you know, in the busyness of the day, sometimes you forget. Um, but yeah, it uh, really can impact on the whole family just by this one simple task. So. Perfect, perfect. Um, and last question, actually, because I was just thinking about that with, uh, I was going through some medicine, I was looking for something, and I did wrongfully dispose of it. I may actually go home now and change that up. Mm -hmm. But but why I did the disposal was I just figured it was expired. Mm -hmm. Is there a, is there a typical spot on either box or on container that actually gives the expiry because I found it was just really difficult to actually find it. Like on prescription medications? It wasn't in prescription. It was uh, it was over the counter. Over the counter um, medication should have an expiry date on it. Right. Um, prescription medications, they don't. What happens when the pharmacist dispenses it is there's, per, there's expiry dates on the stock bottle. So when we look at, say, you're getting 90 days of blood pressure medication, we make sure that in those 90 days it won't be expired. Okay. So the general rule of thumb is when you're taking off a medication, say you're put back on the same one a year later, go get a new Go, go get, get a, a new, new one. dose. Yes. Right. <laughs> so if, if you've used the medication but you haven't finished it, and then, like you said, a year later, like that old medication, just get rid of it. And even if you basically get rid of it, if you've been taken off the medication and you have any excess. Yeah, that's what we, we prefer people to do. It's not always the case, but right. yes. 
Okay. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so yeah. much for the information. Okay. Um, is there anything else you wanted to share with? Just one thing. Any yep. of your viewers who are watching the show and maybe their friends haven't seen it, if they could share with their friends, you know, that we're doing this and Definitely. share the message, you know, to check your home and get rid of any old or expired prescription, non-prescription medications, that would be great because it's something that everybody can play a role in. Perfect. Perfect. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming on and, uh, and sharing with this awareness. Um, I believe we're going to go to a break, and when we come back, we're going to have the folks from Booby Nights coming on to talk about the upcoming events. Proudly supporting local TV since 1966, Shaw TV. Wind & Water Interiors is a proud supporter of Good Morning Kenora and Public Television. From brand name window coverings, design services and cabinetry to furniture and accessories, they're bringing style back to life. Wind & Water Interiors. Lake of the Woods Insurance is a proud supporter of Public Television. For all of those unexpected challenges you may face in the workplace, Lake of the Woods Insurance can be there to help you. Lake of the Woods Insurance, where customer satisfaction is insured. Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Bestway Rentals and Sales for supporting public television. They've got air conditioning systems and aqua lily pads for the summer, heaters, heavy equipment rentals and more. Bestway Rentals and Sales. Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for supporting public television. There's so much more than cashing checks and payday loans, they offer a wide range of other services from parcel pickup and delivery to comic books, Swift Cash and so much more. And we're back. <laughs> Thanks for that countdown, Jack Dawson. Anyways, I have some folks from the Booby Nights event here, and I figured we'd just do a quick little introduction of everyone. And you are? Um, my name's Samantha, and this is my sister Kelsey, and we're going to be selling jello shots at the event. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Fun job. Yes, definitely. And who do we have behind? I'm Bill Scarbarlo. I'm uh, one of the organizers for the event, and uh, I'll be there the evening, just kind of keeping an eye on everyone else. Awesome, awesome. So are you guys anticipating a good night this year? We're definitely hoping uh, this will be our biggest night ever. It's year three, mm -hmm. uh, under the big tent this year. So it's a different venue, so there's some challenges we're working through, but it's going to be cool. Right. We're hoping to get a thousand people out. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, the one thing, like, Jack and I, we've been here for about the same time in Kenora, and, um, and we... Did you make it last year? Yes, we went together. Um, I, I had too much coffee that night. Yeah, I, I, too many jello shots. Huh? But uh, the one thing I remember was that it was, it was definitely sold out. And yes. in talking with people later on after the whole event, they had wished that they had been there. And you know, the whole, I wish I'd gotten my ticket sooner type thing. So getting your goal, I don't think might be that, like I don't think it's gonna be that difficult. Well, we're, we still have tickets available. Right. Um, and we are far further ahead this year in pre-ticket sales than we have been in the past. So things are going definitely in the right direction. Awesome. Uh, we've got a pretty uh, steep hill to climb. Um, last year, we were able to uh, give a check to the hospital for $32,500. That's fantastic. And we want to improve on that this year. So we're well on our way, but we're not quite there yet. Do you have um, do you have a number in mind, like a monetary goal in mind for this year? Well, every nickel counts. Right. And it's all for a good cause. But our, our, our goal would be to exceed $40,000. That would be our goal. And if we could do that, we'd be just ecstatic. That would be awesome. Um, and the other thing for the viewers, while I'm quite certain through advertising and through just the past event, they have an idea of what the actual event is for. Can we remind them? Yes. Like what? So uh, we're raising money for the mammography and chemotherapy, depart chemotherapy departments at the Lake of the Woods District Hospital. Right. Um, breast cancer is, um, it touches everyone. Mm -hmm. And um, so from a, from a fundraising perspective, it's, people are always willing to give because they all know somebody or, or have someone in their family that's been touched by this. So 
Um, it makes it a little bit easier when we ask for donations, but right. it's still a big job. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, now, on top of, of course, these two lovely ladies <laughs> providing jello shots at the event, um, <laughs> what, else, what else can we expect? Like, what, what are we going to be seeing? Well, there's going to be some uh, interesting things. We've got um, a few... Uh, I, Politically correct, I think it's called a rainbow auction now is the proper term. Mm -hmm. So we've got some really cool items. Actually, we've got one of them right here. Autograph Mike Richards' um, jersey, awesome. LA Kings. Uh, so we've got that. That was provided by Phil Hanstead. He's a good friend of Mike's. Um, down in front, we've got a cap that's been autographed by the, um, I think it's the entire Detroit Red, Red Wings team. And that's from um, Great White uh, Foam Insulators. They provided that for us. Fantastic. As a, yeah. And another really cool one we've got this year at the silent auction, it'll be a separate auction, but um, Forest Helicopters have provided us with a helicopter sightseeing tour for four people. So we'll pick them up, we'll do a tour of the city, we'll do a tour of the lake, we're going to take them down to Ash Rapids Lodge, they're providing a champagne brunch for the four, pick them up, and really? bring them back to town. So that's going to be another item. So that's really cool. Wow. That's uh, like they're all amazing, but that would be that would be incredible. Whether you're from out of town, whether you're local, whoever, that that would just be an amazing event. Oh, it'd be so cool. Sweet. And, and the auction. That's just a few of the items we've touched on, but there'll be right. probably seventy or eighty items on the auction table, so it's it's great. We'll have a fifty fifty draw. Nice. For those that were there last year, I don't know if you remember, but uh, Lindsay Wenis from the uh, Hospital Foundation. She does a a photo booth and she brings costumes. She calls it her tickle truck, mm -hmm. and. When, when we thought, when she brought that up last year, we thought, hmm, I don't know how that will go over, but standing room only. I mean, it, people thought that was the coolest thing in the world, and, and it turned out to be a lot of fun. Well, it's amazing when you mix costumes and a couple <laughs> beverages and just an overall good Definitely mindset, helps. you know? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Take my picture with my jello shot. Um, <laughs> but, and, and then what about entertainment? I, I entertainment. Know it sounds like it's going to be a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by popular ba demand again, uh, Big Boogaloo is going to be back, right? Along with David Casey, mm -hmm. and to their credit, I mean, they just do an amazing job every year. And this will be year number three, and we have never been asked after any of the events, are you ever considering other right. entertainment? Because you know what? They're just they're local, they're the best, and and it's just such a such a great night that they provide for us. Well, they they just they have such a solid sound. They do. For, I think basically all generations that would especially be at an event like that and like I said to uh, to Chris earlier I was able to uh, to get a taste of a couple of new tracks they're looking at doing and on top of their original stuff plus anything new yeah that's just yeah. gonna be an amazing part of the event um, now what time what time does it start uh, starts uh, doors will open at 730 730 okay uh, the event will end at 1 a.m. right Perfect. Um, get your tickets. Mm -hmm. Hojo's Coffee and Books, Century 21, Rainer Real Estate, uh, Carrick Funk Salon. Um, there's still tickets available. Okay. Um, so we're hoping to sell out. We're not sure what that number is yet, but we're hoping to sell out. Fantastic. <laughs> that's, uh, no, that's, that's awesome. And what time will the, most importantly, the Jello shots be available? Is that 7.30? Like 7.30 straight on? All right. They sell out early. Yeah. <laughs> they sell out early. They're quite popular. Um, and, and of course, it's a licensed, it's a licensed yes. um, venue. Um, yes. But as well, for anyone that is interested, of course, they'll always offer always non-alcoholic beverages absolutely. and whatnot. It's just an excuse to, to get out, and it's a great cause. Oh, it is, yeah. And it's a great night for everyone, and it's absolutely a great cause and, and um, really turns into a good party. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on today and giving us a heads up as to just some of the things we can look forward to as well as a little more information and uh, and just sight on what we're going to see. Do you have anything else you want to share? Um, nope. The only the other thing, if you have questions, give us a call or you right. can go to Facebook. Uh, just search Booby Nights. We're there. We've got a Facebook page, uh, boobynights.ca on the web. We've got Perfect. information there. So Awesome. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll recap, Chris and I, at the, uh, at the end of the show, our Facebook and our email here as well. But if any of the viewers have any questions or comments, they can always pass it along to us and we can shoot it forward Perfect. to you guys. Um, all right, great. Well, I think what we're going to do then is take another quick break. Chris Jones will be back to wrap up today with me, and, uh, and we hope to see you at Booby Nights. <laughs> Thank you.
Wind & Water Interiors is a proud supporter of Good Morning Kenora and Public Television. From brand name window coverings, design services and cabinetry to furniture and accessories, they're bringing style back to life. Wind & Water Interiors. Lake of the Woods Insurance is a proud supporter of public television. For all of those unexpected challenges you may face in the workplace, Lake of the Woods Insurance can be there to help you. Lake of the Woods Insurance, where customer satisfaction is insured. In a world of fear, what they needed most was each other. Here comes the monster. The Tickle Monster! <laughs> Just imagine what a little time can do for your family. <laughs> From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> Good morning, Kenora would like to thank Bestway Rentals and Sales for supporting public television. They've got air conditioning systems and aqua lily pads for the summer, heaters, heavy equipment rentals, and more. Bestway Rentals and Sales. Good morning, Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for supporting public television. There's so much more than cashing checks and payday loans. They offer a wide range of other services, from parcel pickup and delivery to comic books, Swift Cash, and so much more. Welcome back, Kenora. You okay? Coffee almost went out my nose. <laughs> I'm fine, though. I'm fine. Okay. I managed to recover from that. Good interviews? Yeah, no, they were, they were great. You know, uh, it was wonderful to hear what's going to be going on and even some just the auction prizes and whatnot at yeah. the uh, at Booby Nights. And the ladies, uh, Lana and Judy, mm -hmm. coming on and just giving, uh, like, I don't think a lot of people think of that. You know? That's, I definitely do not. I, and especially with young kids around. And like I said, like, it was the other day, Ara, I was in the living room, Kelly was somewhere, mm -hmm. and I come into the kitchen and she's on the counter. And her, uh, her stool is nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, how'd you get up there? And she, I climbed. She's just <laughs> smiling, sitting up there. But as cool as that is, the same thing. She's pretty knowledgeable about, like, there's just things not to touch. But mm -hmm. like, if it's a colorful package or whatever, you know, the last thing you want. And I didn't know to keep medicine out of the washroom. Yeah, see, all mine's in there, so. I, I guess we'll guess be doing a shuffle when yeah, we get home. Yeah, a little house cleaning when I get home today. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's going to be um, a nice couple of days here mm. uh, coming up, and especially uh, weather-wise. What, what do you have going on tomorrow on the show? I know uh, it's, it's a dog's life that's coming on, right? Yes, yeah. yes absolutely. They're a staple. Bobby Dirksen. And Bobby, Bobby Dirksen, Bobby, very nice. Bobby Dirksen, oh. I like it. Awesome. Like it so tomorrow, yes, uh, Dogs Life will be on tomorrow. Uh, cool. Unfortunately, uh, we did miss the most cultured man today. He's off on uh, on business. On OPP duties. Absolutely. Well, so, I'll get on him, you know. Yeah. Because there's a few things I actually I did want to mention to mm -hmm. him and, and talk about uh, about boating. Yeah. That I'm probably sure he wanted to talk about. So maybe next week. But Next uh, week. Just so, you tell me, be careful. Mm -hmm. Be, four yeah, four Has accidents. There been four already. accidents four, already. Maybe long weekend. There's been four accidents already, and uh, they were negligent. They've been preventable accidents, right? From what I hear. So, be careful on the on the on the water. And when you're out this weekend, on the next couple of days, check out. Uh, it's going to be kind of rainy, so you might want to watch what you're doing. Yeah, so fair enough. Today uh, we have a high today of uh, 18 and a low of six with rain. And then on Friday, we have a high of 8 and a low of 5 with more rain. So kind of make it a little, uh, a little treacherous. Well, it's kind of it's like the April showers coming a month late. I think so. You know, it's, I know the lawn can take it right now. And, uh, and then hopefully come June, come Booby Nights weekend, we will have super phenomenal weather leading into the summer. And we do and have and we do, stuff yeah. to give away. We have a whole bunch of stuff to give away, which we will give you more information on here in the next coming days, probably tomorrow. We'll yeah. Let you know how you can win it all. Fantastic. It's going to be good. I might stuff. even come on the show tomorrow. Don't will you let me? me? Don't tease me. I know. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I kind of like doing the Thursdays and Fridays. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we like that. As long as you're not, you know. Well, I may be dressed up. My apologies for the attire today. Like I said, I'm, I'm off to work at the Bijou. Uh, but uh, yeah, at least it's uh, it's supporting one of the local so festivals. True. So I did get that from the show last year, actually. Yeah, oh. so I'm supporting my time with GMK, and I'm supporting a music festival that's local. And you know what? Can't I cannot complain with that. Just as long as they can't see my pants right now. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching, Kenora, and we will see you back here bright and early tomorrow. Good morning.